Hello and welcome to Storytime in Nature. I'm Coral Bass with Manatee County Parks and Natural Resources. We're in beautiful Neal Preserve. This week we've been talking all about the nocturnal creatures, nighttime animals. Those are the animals that are doing all the same thing as day animals. So they're making their nests, they're building their homes, they're getting food, and doing all the other, scurrying around and doing all the other things that a, an animal needs to survive all at night. Now some of these animals you may see occasionally that during the daytime, but they're more than likely night animals. So without further ado, let's learn about a couple of those examples. Night Animals by Gianna Moreno. Hey, Possum, what are you doing in there? I'm hiding. Shh. All right, so we know that's Possum, right? Who is this? Might be a little stinker. Might be a little stinky. Try and think. A black with a white stripe. You know. What are we hiding from? Mm, night animals! Now keep quiet! Can you move over? Let's find somewhere else. Hear something? Are you trying to scare me? Help me! Oh! Help you! You're a wolf! You think a wolf needs help? He's what's called an apex predator. So he's the top and the top of food chain. Not like skunk and possum here. Now look what's going on. Look their reaction. All right, look at possum there. What is possum doing? He's stinking. You can see it right there. I'm sorry, Possum's sleeping, and who's doing what? He's right there stinking. That's right, that skunk. So they both reacted to a scary predator, right? But something's following me! What is it? Now look where, where Wolf is, right? Look at Skunk again, hiding. What's Possum playing? Possums are known for playing dead, yeah. Yeah, he's pretending he's not alive. Oh, that scary, scary thing. It's big and hairy with long, sharp claws. I'm not here. I'm not here. Oop, I need to show you that. He's big and hairy. Look at him big and hairy. What do you think it is? Hey. Think you'd ever see a skunk and a wolf hug in real life? Probably not. You guys gotta help me! Something huge is coming! What can be bigger than a bear? Why is the sky getting darker? The bear. Look at the wolf. 
Look at what the skunk's doing and how he's carrying his friend the possum. Right? Right? Think about that. Nobody wants to be carried like that. Nine animals! Run! Hide! Alright. Look at the bear and the wolf. Terrified. And look. <laughs> at the skunk and the possum being so silly. Poor possum still being dragged by his tail. <laughs> Faces. Stop! Who's telling him to stop? What are you so afraid of? We're scared of night animals. Who do you think's talking to him? What do you think it is? But you are night animals. Silly, right? They are night animals. Oh, did you hear something? Uh oh. That's not coming from them, is it? No. No, it's not. Click! Who's in the tent? Right there, who's in the tent? What is the possum doing? Is he running? <laughs> but somebody else is there. Somebody we didn't see earlier. Got the bat. Got the wolf. We've got the bear. We've got the skunk. We got the possum. Who's up here? Who could that be? What is the possum about to do? The end. Look at the back. Did you hear something? So what animals did you see? We saw the possum, the skunk, we saw um, the bear, the wolf, a bat, all mammals. The only one in there, and oh, the possum. The only one in there that wasn't a mammal was that owl at the very, very end. So it's a mammal. Um, a mammal is any vertebrate, so backbone, gotta have a backbone. Any vertebrate that has, that produces milk, has hair, right? It's hair and live birth. So those are our, our very common nocturnal mammals. They make up a large proportion or a large amount of our mammals are nighttime creatures. And, but we're different, right? We're mammals, all right? When are we awake? We're awake in the daytime, mostly. There are some night owls amongst us. But for the most part, humans like to do most of their stuff during the day. They go to and get food, they get, they work, they go to home and school to do most of their activities in the daylight hours. So, we may be diurnal, but some of our pets are not. Some of us might have um, pets that are awake all night long, and you might even be able to think of a couple of them. I know I have one, all right? He is a complete night owl, or I should say a night cat. He's a cat, and cats are awake mostly at the night. So are our hamsters. So you might hear him running on the wheel or something, and I grew up with a hamster. So hamsters like to be moving and shaking at night, and they'll sleep all day. So as you can see, different mammals really do like having more of the nighttime hours. So the next time you're awake, 
when no one else is, all right, when, when it's nice and dark, next time when you're awake, I want you to take a moment and uh, try and see who you can hear and if you can see anybody outside. That way, when you're out there, you'll get a chance to find out what night animals are in your neighborhood. And if you do, drop us a comment at below. Thank you guys uh, for coming out for Story Time in Nature. And I look forward to seeing you again sometime soon. And I'll see you on our next adventure.